Greetings everyone, Grey Fox 13, Lord Master of the West Entity, welcome to today's episode of Divine Divinity. You might be aware that Divine Divinity is a fairly old game, it's easily a decade old now I believe, and it's been released and published by the Larian Studios, however they may be pronounced, and it's quite an important game to my childhood, well, something like that. At least I really enjoyed it back in time, and I really played it a lot, and... I actually possess it in three different variations. I have the original CDs, I have it on a magazine CD, and of course I purchased it on Steam. Because that's where you can get it. Fairly cheap as well, and of course on good old games as well. But yes, enough of the prelude, let's get started. New. It is an RPG, sort of like Diablo, just more historic. We have six heroes, which actually means, just means three heroes and two genders. They say there are Survivor. only two ways of living for a poor girl on the streets. Prostitution or starvation. I took the third way. I steal from the rich and give it all to my poor self. At least in this corrupt world, I'm a hero to myself. Well, I suppose that's an attitude as well. But yes, as you can tell, identify, lockpick. The survivor is actually pretty much the rook character. The thief or whatever you may want to call it. We have the mage, the warrior, and the survivor. But you have to be the survivor on this. A strong yes. mind and a grasp of magic are all a man really needs to fight evil. I've seen an aged mage wither a mighty warrior with a simple word and a gesture. Such a mage will I be, using magic to remake the broken yep. land. We are going to purge the lands. And the pictures look almost identical anyway. But okay, yes, I am usually pl I played Major back in time, so I'm gonna play it right now as well. We have dashes. We have dashes. I can actually call him Gold Fox 13. Ta da! That's me. Ray Dash Fox Dash 13. And we play on hard. And pray that it doesn't get too hardcore for us. And another warning ahead, I don't know, maybe you've noticed already, the quality today might not be as pristine as you're used to it. Because I am not using the software I'm usually using, because the software I'm usually using is not uh, discovering Divine Divinity. Because, as mentioned, Divine Divinity is a bit dated, so it's... I suppose I should have used Fraps or something, but usually I'm using Afterburn, and today I'm using Open Broadcaster software. And let's hope that quality is not too bad, but yes, we are going hard. If the game gets too difficult because it's an RPG, we will just tune down a bit in case of doubt. I just accept. Well, good morning, sunshine. I believe I should view the intro for some context. Okay, I hear garbled mess of noises. Oh, okay. There we go. Three. Is that a man on the left side or a woman? Okay, two men and a woman. Yes, it was a woman. Haha, a rat. A long path of hands. That was a friendly smile. Okay, there is a almost naked person. Okay. What's going on? They are making babies. That was easy. He looks kind of like Conan. Conan the Barbarian. You missed. Sure, that is not pleasant. Meow. Meow. Okay. Now we have seen the intro, and now. I don't think that was us, was it? But okay, let's see where are we. We are in a little room. We can show all the stuff. There's a pocket, worn sandals. Let's steal all the stuff. Let's steal everything. Steal all the things. Okay, that's how we change. 
to getting used to control somewhat. I have a diary. That's my map. Because I'm a super quick artist and I'm drawing my maps on the go. No conversation had yet. You are still wet of ear back and green of foot. You are not sure which bit of soil is taking the enemy and you think crossing your fingers is a form of magic protection spell. You got a lot to learn, kid. I was pretty sure crossing my fingers would be a protection spell, but hey, you never learn. What? You never stop learning, I mean. Okay, as you can see, things are equipped automatically if you... Oh, wait. I can close the windows with right-click. Good. How the hell do I quick loot? Good. Because I think my mouse is a little too sensitive and I end up dragging stuff. Oh, a sensitive mouse. I really noticed it in this game. Okay, let's set myself to permanently running. Because running is much better than crawling. Okay. Anything else we need here? I don't think so. Chest. Bed. I got one downstairs. Ooh, minor healing. Potion. Minor healing. Book. Herbal medicine refers to the use of any plant, seed, bell, bar. There's a lot of books in this in this game, really a whole bunch of books, stories and all that stuff, so it's really quite exaggerate. And I'm possibly going to read it out in alternative videos, but reading the stuff out in the main series would kind of waste way too much time. So sorry, I'm going to do that. Dear Lord, visitors are no longer coming to Elrof due to this gathering of orc raiding parties in the woods. I am of the mind that we should thank our Ducal army for assistance. Surely it is just a matter of time before those foul orcs will attack the town. Indeed. Lanor is Ah, my evil. friend. You're awake at last. How are you feeling? I am feeling rather confused because I got no clue. Oh, yay, yeah, there it is. What is this place? You are in my house in Alaroth, a small community of healers. In normal times, this place would be bustling with activity, but so you say. things have been rather quiet due to the recent troubles. Sure, recent troubles. What are these troubles you were talking about? Uh -huh. You mean apart from the orc bandits infesting the woods and the fact that we've lost contact with the source? Well, our leader, Mardanius by name, seems to have gone... How should I put it? Well, uh, he seems to have gone as crazy as a loon. Okay, so Mardanius is crazy. Yes, that's the only way to put it. He's constantly raving about dark chambers and evil spirits, and he thinks everybody is a servant of the dark powers. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he's been possessed by a demon. A demon. Of course, uh, that can't be true. Nobody has gone down with possession in, in centuries. Oh, so you say. And when did you last get out of this village anyway? Okay, that's strange indeed. Is there anything I could do to help my Donnyers? Dark chambers, evil spirits. Well, does that sound like a demon in his head, alright? Look, why don't we pay my debt uh, to you by starting to read the text properly without stumbling over words? Oh, uh, well, putting the old boy out of misery might help as well. I don't follow you. What? Good gods. You want to kill Mardanius? I, look, you said yourself that he's possessed by a demon, you know, with such filth as to be stored or it can spread. Calm your titties. Clearly, we need to know if he really is possessed. Where can I find Mardanius and see the melody with my own eyes? Alright, let's just check out the old man first. Follow the street outside my house, a little bit to the south, and then go west. His house is next to the old well. Okay, I see. What do you have to offer? To sell? To buy? Healing? Shadows, empty, strength, magic, Glexia. Ooh. Oh, and you can identify. Not that I have anything to identify yet, but you know, in theory, if at some point I would have something to identify, I could have him identify it for me. Dear John, I know I still owe you 500 gold pieces. That must be quite heavy. Just imagine 500 gold pieces. I mean, wow. It must be a solid kilogram or more, or more definitely, they're pretty heavy I think. But I simply don't have the means to pay you back at the, the present times. Since the orcs started raiding woods around Elof, I have only had a trickle of customers. Money is tight for everyone these days, I suppose. Please be patient a little bit longer. 
until the Ducal army comes to clean all the woods and trade revives again. And I promise to return your kind loan with interest. Thank you again. Warm with regards, George. Okay, George. Let's kill George and get his mug. No, wait, that's not how it works. Steal all the mugs! I don't need mugs, but I'm gonna steal them because you do need you. Okay. Mardanius, my oh, that's, that's friend. What, what are you doing do outside? What? Oh, 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 it's you, Lanilor. I, I was. Ah, oh, he will come! The end is upon us! Sounds like a regular old man. Shilloy. You're raving, Mardanius. You must take more rest. Come, let me take you home. If you know what I mean. But Nemesis is near. We must be vigilant. We must be pure. We must um, behave. Oh, what did you say, Lanilo? Rest? Oh, yes, I could try to sleep. If only the voice in my head would be silent. The voice acting is pretty good. But I think that's only just for the main characters. Later on I'm gonna have to read out all the stuff myself. And I don't have many funny voices to go around, so they people will probably start sounding the same after about the second person I talk to. Um, a locked door. By the way, I'm going to be very, very, very proficient around the first village because as mentioned I played the game a few times already. So, especially around here I am... Very familiar with everything. Well, sort of familiar because I still don't remember all the layouts of the map, so. That was agreeable. Did you just say that was agreeable? Whatever. Let's grab the meteor strike. This box claims to be the famous orc freebooter Corum Blood Club. Some say Corum died over 10 years ago, some say he might be still alive. This book looks old enough and Blood Club's by the name was renowned as an orc of education and sophistication. Perhaps this tomb is indeed from Blood Club's very own pen. It would be nice to find this other section of the story. The Adventure of the Part 1. But yes, that's a part of the story. Can you take, uh, take the book with me? Just kind of join it. Stop running around. Yep. By the way, that's kind of fun. I can throw things around. Small packages. Big packages as well. I cannot stack them, which is kind of weird. They start stacked, but I can't restack them. So I'm kind of making a mess. Okay. Down the hatch. Okay, let's see what we find here. Barrel. Contains nothing. Because apparently I have super eyes and can see things from outside. I don't want to know how old this orange is or this carrot for that matter. By the way, also I can go into combat mode. You see me with my dagger and do this. Die, barrel. Die. I mean, how many games let you do that, right? Just punch the barrel in its barrelly face. Because apparently barrels have faces now. But okay. I think this episode is rather lame, but okay, it's an RPG, so it starts off very slow. So I'll see you again in episode five when things get start get start getting excited, exciting, and where I can finally talk properly. Okay, we got a graveyard, tombstones, an unnamed victim of fire fever. May he rest in peace. Yeah, even though he apparently has no body. Okay, we have there's a locked grave. Important. A bronze key, flowers, tombstone. Here lies Esmeralda, wife to Jake. May she rest in peace. Hmm. Somebody's added a line on this gravestone. Good riddance. Signed, Jake. And Jake is going to be a fellow we will encounter. Here lies the late unlamented Jake. No flowers, especially not from my wife. Signed, Jake. Okay, and this is where we find out how to quick save. Because you're going to need a quick save at this point. Control S. Okay, well, that's easy enough. And because then we give him some flowers. I live. Who put my wife's flowers on my grave? I didn't. I certainly didn't. You? Nope, not me. 
have no respect for the wishes of the dead. Now There's die enough. and see how you like it. Okay, problem is... Uh, for one, I'm playing on hard, and for other, the zombie is just total overkill. So if he touches me, as much as touches me, I'm instantly dead. So I gotta kite him, gotta keep a distance, and shoot fireballs at him. And pray that he does not reach me before he's dead. Ow! Oh, hey, I survived one punch, see? I can survive another one probably, but I shouldn't push my luck. Bam, bam. I'm firing my fireball. Does my mana regenerate? Uh oh, my mana does not regenerate. That's going to end bad. I don't think I have enough mana on, on hard difficulty to kill him. I mean. Or maybe I do. It's going to be a close run. Maybe I have to go all hero on him and punch him in the. My energies are depleted. My energies are depleted. Let that me means... regain my strength. Good, then regain your strength, but faster for Christ's sake. Let's punch him in the face. Ouch! <sighs> well, that's also a way to regenerate my mana. Why can't I quick load? Oh, the game kind of froze up. I can't even press escape at this point. Okay. I can open my inventory. I can navigate my inventory. I can change combat mode. Okay. Oh, I found the map. I'm not sure why I'm pressing random keys at this point. But yeah, the game. Oh, there we go. That just took ages. Quick save. Yes, let's load. Quick, quick save. Okay. How the second attempt? Oh, maybe I should. Yeah. How about the second attempt while we are here? Sorry, I can't use that. If I hit him properly with all the fireballs without wasting my energy, I might actually be able to kill him. No. The exact opposite of this. Stop dodging. I mean, you're a zombie. How are you so agile? In Christ's sake! See how fast he's moving. Oh, he missed. Good. Ouch. I won't hurt. Ouch. That one missed. Exhausted. And we're out of energy. Let me rest a while. Can you rest out in the street with a zombie chasing you for any? That would kind of help. No? Thought so. But yeah, apparently we will have to actually, you know... Oh, hey. There's a bed. Oh, hey, I actually managed to sleep with a zombie ch chasing me. It's now night and we are fighting a zombie at night because you might be chased by a zombie. And you might be outside the door, but a nap is always welcome. That guy has nerves of steel, I tell you. But okay, and since we got our level up, we are replenished anyway. Okay, skill points are even two level ups, I believe. Summon skeleton, bless, wizard side, uh, house place, no. Enchant. I think enchant was one of the important ones, I'm not sure. Repair was possibly one as well. Augment damage is in general rather good for close combat and everything. But the most important skills are all in the way of the survival. Because yes, I can actually learn skills from the other classes. Things like Trader's Tongue, where I get better prizes. Rare Sight, uh, Magic Barrier, Augment, Heaven's Gift, uh, Survival Instinct. Oh, Life Regeneration, see, Identify is a pretty important one as well. Because that way I can pretty much will identify things without having to pay for them. Alchemy, I can mix myself some health potions and mix them and everything. 
no creatures. It shows me a lot of hit points of, of monsters, which is always pretty useful. Ah, uh, blind. Second of potion, blah, blah, blah. Make a shift. Pickpocket. Oh, lock picking is also obviously pretty handy. We all know in every game, the po pick lock. Lock picking. Why can't I talk? Um, and Deadly Gift is one of the most dangerous skills in the game. Which is kind of interesting. But okay. There's bunnies. I'm not gonna kill the bunnies just yet. Because if I kill the bunnies, the village will hate me. I don't need the village to hate me just yet. There's a mirror. In a big package. Sorry, I can't use that. My mouse is too sensitive for this game. Um, on the magic obscure, by Mandeos the healer. Unfortunately, most pages of this book have been torn out. Maybe Mandeos did this by himself in his madness, so the evil forces shouldn't profit from this great knowledge of magic and magical artifacts. Only one section is complete and you make sense to you. Magic mirrors are by far more common than any other objects made by magicians. The ma king of a magic mirror was once part of the earliest education for young wizards or the entrance to a magic school or circle. You can use the magic mirrors to duplicate certain magical gems. Unfortunately, the magic mirror you must restore it during the ritual, so you'll only get one chance at successfully completing the spell. So how do you use a magic mirror? It's very simple indeed, my faithful pupil. First you have to find a small natural pool, deep enough to submerge the magic mirror completely. On being covered by the water, the magic mirror will vanish completely, do not be alarmed, this is part of the magic. When the mirror vanishes, simply drop the magic gem you wish to the grid into the same pool and the magic will do its work, instantly. The copy will be perfect in every way, use your magic mirror wisely. But one word of warning, there are far more fa false magic mirrors in the world than real ones these days. I have one now. I'm going to do naughty things with it. I'm not sure how you do naughty things with something that duplicates gems, but... Or gems, gems, gems. I'm not even sure how to pronounce that. But okay. I believe this should be sufficient for the first episode. We fought a zombie. I just ate a basket full of carrots. There's bunnies. Oh, oh, oh. Don't let the bunnies escape. Don't let the bunnies escape. Okay. I fought bunnies and a zombie and ate carrots and I slept while being chased and it's still night time. But okay, the episode is over. Remember to like it, subscribe it. I hope you did kind of enjoy it. I'm not sure what I was to enjoy about this episode, but okay. I'll see you again next time. Great Fox Rodin, Lord Master of the Grace Andy, signing out.